A gas station employee arrested, accused of stealing thousands of dollars worth of lottery tickets from his employer. Haley Minow talked with lottery officials about the frequency of theft from employees, and people who visit the gas station weekly are sharing their reactions. Most people who visit this gas station are regulars. I come here just about every day. Every other day. And you can see the surprise on their faces when they hear an employee was arrested. Wow, I just, uh, I wouldn't expect something like that to come out of a gas station like this. Adam Theobald was arrested Wednesday, accused of stealing $8,000 worth of lottery tickets for a total winnings of somewhere between $2,500 and $3,000. According to the police report, Theobald told police that he stole the lotto tickets to support a gambling problem over a four-month period. It's kind of crazy because I'll be honest with you, I've, I've, I do gamble, but I don't, I don't have an addiction. So it's like if he has to pay, steal that much in lottery tickets just to pay off a gambling debt, then that's a problem that he really needs to get taken care of. I tried to speak with the manager at the gas station to find out more information, like what shift Theobald was working or if he was still an employee there. The manager wasn't in, so I left my contact info but never heard from them. Chip Polson with the Kentucky Lottery says internal theft of lotto tickets isn't frequent, but it also isn't unusual. This is very much a crime of opportunity where they are there with the tickets, they see them, they think that they may be able to get away with something. Aside from keeping a close eye on inventory and reporting irregularities, Polson says one big thing will help curb in-store thefts. This isn't something where you can just throw your hands up and say, you know, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do it. There, this is theft at the end of the day. The employer is being stolen from, so they are encouraged to follow up and actually prosecute for crimes like this. In Louisville, I'm Haley Minogue, WHAS 11 News.